Hey everyone, so it feels like it's been a while since we last spoke. I know it probably hasn't because, I mean, you see a video from me twice a week, but the last one was me not really talking and just sort of standing around posing. Um, it was a lookbook if you haven't actually seen it and um, basically I want to say thank you because even though I know it wasn't like perfect or even like very good in any sense um, it was like a first time thing for me and I got loads of really, really nice comments I also got quite a lot of thumbs down but I can get through that but um, yeah thank you all for your nice comments I'm going to take any advice that you sort of sent my way on board to hopefully make the next ones a bit better but like I said it's the first time I've ever really done one like that and my house doesn't really have anywhere I can sort of film full length things because it is sort of like it's a big house but there's quite a lot of different small rooms so um, that was kind of like the best positioning I could get it but I will work on it um, but yeah thank you very much I was very very nervous to actually post that but now at least I know that I don't actually have to be scared to post my outfits on the internet anymore or at least like moving outfits so you can be expecting a lot more from me in terms of that so today's video is going to be all about my April favorites and I've got a lot so let's just get stuck in my first general favourite is tanning. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm slightly darker than usual and I've actually been committing to tanning recently. And my favourite at the moment is the Coco Brown um, One Hour Tan Mousse. I think it's just all in like one colour, but I have been loving this stuff. I was recently using something that I'm going to be showing you in a minute, um, but this I think is like a new favourite that sort of crept in last minute because it doesn't seem to go patchy at all. I've had this on for about five days or so and I use one of those loofah things in the shower and I always find that they kind of take off too much tan sometimes and it hasn't done it with this so easy to apply it takes like an hour to get it like a decent color and I use like usually use it on for that wasn't a sentence I usually leave it on for about three hours four hours depending on what I'm doing um, and it just gets me really, really nice and dark but not too dark and it's like a nice greeny sort of olivey colour so it looks a lot more natural than just like something more orange. Um, really really cheap, I think you can buy this in Primark and I think it's about £7 normally but yeah I really, really love this, I've seen so many people on YouTube like raving about it for ages and I completely get it, it's so so good and it's really easy to apply as well and I don't know why but I love the feeling of like applying a mousse onto my skin, it's really satisfying, don't know why I like it so much but yeah really, really like this. And the second tanning product that I've been loving is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Luxe Dry Oil. Um, yeah, that's what it's called. And this is basically just like an oil tanner, like you can probably imagine. And you basically give it a good shake. I mentioned this in my haul video, I think. And it's really, really good. And it's so, so nice to apply. It smells like lemon grass or something, I don't know what it is, but it smells really really good, um, really, really nourishing on the skin, I did find that this lasted about three days and then it started to go patchy like around my chest and um, sort of on my arms a little bit but I basically just managed to scrub it off and go again so it creates a really really good tan but it's not overly long, la long lasting but I think if you're like doing something for a few days or if you're just going on a night out or something this is really really good it's quite expensive for what it is but I absolutely love it and it doesn't give you that fake tan smell whatsoever okay next we have the glazed apple shower gel and I'm the sort of person it seems to be that like I seem to get on the hype of like the Christmas things about four or five months too late because I'm still in love with the hot toddy shower gel but um, I had this one in my stash for ages and I think I had the body butter and I love the smell of it so when I had the shower gel I thought I'm going to leave this and use it like later on in the year and I absolutely love this it's like a really sort of tart sour sweet apple smell you can't get it anywhere anymore unless you have a look on like eBay or Amazon or something so I don't know why I'm mentioning it but I really, really love this it's really, really nice in the morning it really really wakes me up and it's just a really nice shower gel Recently I've been changing up my skincare routine a little bit, I'll be doing a video on that next but my favourite cleanser at the moment is the Declior Aroma White C Plus um, Brightening Cleansing Oil I managed to actually ignore the French for once and say the English so yeah I really, really like this, it's just a cleansing oil as you can imagine it's really, really light and it doesn't seem to like lather up too much but it seems to still, like, still take off all of your makeup I only actually have to use it once to actually take off all of my makeup but I do tend to use it twice in the evenings just to make sure I've got a completely clean face. It doesn't strip my skin of any oils or anything like that and I got this from Fragrance Direct. I think it was quite a bit cheaper than like how you, how you would buy the bottle normally. That's not a sentence either but um, it's a lot cheaper on Fragrance Direct. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And I've never really tried many Declio products but I really, really like this so I'm thinking I might go ahead and try a few other bits and pieces because this is really, really good. 
Before I forget, um, I like my nails at the moment, they're one of my favourites too, and these are £1 from Primark, I don't really know how I can show you, but um, they're the £1 nails from Primark, I picked them up um, just on a whim because I heard a few different people say that they were good, I wasn't really up for the whole pattern nail thing and I didn't really want to go for the French tips because I thought they maybe looked a bit too obvious and a little bit too fake, but I picked these up and the glue in them is really really good, I've had a few fall off and I took them off I, to give my hands like a little bit of a rest and it did make my nails a bit flimsy and not very nice but my nails weren't very nice anyway so I wasn't too bothered. But um, yeah, I really, really love these. I've had these on for maybe 10 days now, apart from me like taking them off for the day break. And they don't seem to fall off anymore. I think I've sort of got it down to keeping them on, like stuck on. Um, basically what I do is I just apply it like to the nail and I stick it on my finger as you normally would but then I fully like smush my hand into a table, I like use the bottom of my hand and I like smush my hand into a table to make sure that it's like fully pressed in. It does, it's not a very nice feeling, it does feel a little bit uncomfortable when you're doing it but they stay on like for ages and I can even, I can even open cat tins, like tins of cat food, that's like the test to see if these nails are any good because I can still open cat food tins without like my nails pinging off. I think it only happened once and ever since then it hasn't happened again. So um, I'm going to be buying like a big set online of like fake nails and I think I'm just going to go down the fake nail route now because I've said many times before that I hate painting my nails and I hate looking after my nails and I generally hate the look of my nails as well so um, I think I will just go down the fake nail route because I think I've like mastered how to keep them on my hands and not have like things pinging off everywhere. Another favourite of mine that's recently crept in is a hair care product. Now I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't because it's not much different whatsoever but I have had my hair cut. It's sort of ever so slightly more layered. I never had layers before but now I've got like a few shorter bits around my face and like a few shorter bits around here, um, but it sort of gave my hair like a new lease of life, it's a lot easier to style and it's like a lot less more, a lot less tangly as well, I've had too much coffee so I can't really speak today, but um, I was recently sent the Neil & Wolfe uh, Silk Smoothing Blow Dry Balm and I never really think that these sort of smoothing things will work, I always tend to just use like a heat protectant, but because I've had my hair done, um, I've started like using more of the products that I have in my stash and I really, really like this. I've only used it about five times but every single time I've used it I've had a really good hair day so it may be end to this but the smell of all of the Neil and Wolf products is so nice. It smells like a perfume, like a really really expensive perfume and it leaves your hair smelling that way as well so it's a really luxurious product but it's not actually that expensive. I think this might be around £10. I don't think it's any more than 15 so a bit more on the high end but not like extortionate prices. And yeah, I really like this, think this might be what is down to me having like fairly good hair days, although I'm not having one today. Now on to makeup, and I've actually got quite a lot of makeup products um, this month, I don't normally have much makeup, it's normally skincare, but the first thing is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Universal Glow Beautifier, and this is essentially like an orange primer. Um, I still use my Clarins self tanning primer, but because I've been tanning a lot more recently I don't feel like I need to use up that just to like tan my face because my face has already been tanned anyway So because that is quite expensive I do sort of save that for when my skin is actually looking more pale So to make me look a bit more alive in the mornings because even though I'm tanned I still look like I'm about I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I basically still look like a dead thing um, I have been using this which makes me look a lot less dead and it's basically an orangey colour, I'll see if I can get a little bit out of my hand and rub it in for you, but you can see it's like orangey and it kind of just rubs in, you're not going to end up with like an orange face or anything, but I put it on one side of my face this morning just to make sure that it definitely did do something before I said that I absolutely loved it, and one side of my face looked like normal and the other side just looked horrendous um, so it definitely does work it just gives like a nice glow to the face and it doesn't like interfere with any of my foundation or anything and yeah it's just a really really good product if you're looking dead like I am most mornings I think it's safe to say that us girls have a lot of lip balms I think I have around 30 just lurking around my house and one of my favorites at the moment is the Lanolips Lemonade Lip Aid with Organic Lemon Oil now this is basically like your standard lip balm but it also has like lemony, well lemon oil in it and that is apparently meant to help exfoliate your lips which I really, really like doing. I do um, like manually exfoliate my lips with the Lush Santa's Lip Scrub but sometimes I find that can be like a little bit harsh if I only just want to get rid of like a slight 
dead layer of skin on my mouth. Um, and this is really, really good for that. I basically just put it on overnight and I wake up the next morning and my lips are really, really smooth. Um, and it smells really good as well and I just love Lam Lips products in general. I've run out of my original one, I think. It's like just the 101 ointment. But um, I picked this up and I really, really like this. It has got a slight shimmer in it but I tend to use it at night so it doesn't really bother me too much. Next is what I've got on my lips right now and it's the Rimmel Lasting Finish. Finish. Let me start that again. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish Colour Rush in the shade 710 Drive Me Nude and it looks a little something like this. I hope it's not all like gloopy because I rested it on my like hot water bottle earlier. For, I have like a hot water bottle with me with like every video, I don't know why. But um, I rested it on there and it kind of like melted but it seems to have like solidified again. And yeah, it looks a little something like this. I have lined my lips with, I don't have it with me, but it's the Pixie Liner something or other and I only just lightly lined my lips lined my lips just because I just wanted like a more precise look but this is what's like all over my lips so you can kind of see the colour maybe um, and I really, really like this it smells like vanilla icing so it's really really good and the colour's really nice it gives like a really nice payoff it's moisturising and I just think it's like a really, really good colour or just product in general to just massage or massage all over your lips, just apply all over your lips and just go really. So I like to keep this in my bag, I don't always wear it but when I am sort of looking a little bit again dead and my lips maybe don't have much colour in them then I will just like apply this and it just makes me look a bit more something. I don't know what it is with my face but I always seem to look a little bit dead and another product that helps me with that is the Benefit Majorette Blush and I've been obsessed with this again recently, let me try and show you without blinding you with a mirror. But it's like this really nice peachy pink um, cream blush thing. That's exactly what it is. And I loved this last summer. I think I mentioned this in... Maybe it was another favourites video. I think I might have actually mentioned this again. But um, I'm still loving it if I have mentioned it before. And yeah, it's just a really nice colour that you can just lightly pop onto your cheeks. And it just sort of lifts up your look completely. If I'm looking a bit sort of not that great sometimes. And I have still like applied a blusher and it's just not really working. I will just go in with this and maybe lightly pop it on the, like the, um, what are these things called? The cheekbone area, this area of my face. Um, I'll lightly pop it on there, not much colour at all. And it will somehow just give me like a good boost of colour and... It smells really nice and it's just a really, really good formula, so I really love this at the moment. And finally is something I never really got on with, it's the RMK Eyebrow Gel. And before I was using the Gimme Brow, which has now run out, um, and I just found this to be really, really crispy. But now I think like my eyebrow hairs have grown even more or something, but I kind of like the whole crispy eyebrows. <laughs> I don't really know if I'm in like the minority for that, but because my eyebrows are quite long, like the actual hairs, I pulled out like eyebrow hairs this long, like genuinely this long before, and like in the wind they can sort of waver around and go all over my face, and the Benefit one, even though it's like good for setting your brows, it didn't really keep mine overly in place, um, so I've had to resort to something a bit more sort of hardcore, and this is what I've got on at the moment, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to try and like manoeuvre my brows, but like these don't really budge, it's basically like glue, like let me see if I can stick this piece up, like it basically just moulds everything into sections. I probably look like Spock or something now, but let's put this bad boy back down. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I do tend to wipe off a lot of the excess beforehand. The brush is like a slightly weirder shape. As you can see, you get a lot of product when you take it out. But it's like, I don't know if you can see, it's like a really strange shape. So it goes up like a normal wand and then it kind of darts that way. Um, I don't really know the purpose of that but I tend to use it like this way so I use it like the bent side to my eyebrows um, and yeah I just do just like wipe off the excess product and then just go at it on my brows and they do stay in place completely it's a bit annoying to take off in the evening but um, because I am using that oil cleanser it does break it down quite easily but you might need something a bit more heavy duty to actually stop your eyebrows from being like super glued to your face but right now I think that is like the only solution I have apart from just shaving off my eyebrows completely. So that is the end of my April favourites and now we are in May which is really really weird. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, actually no I do because I finished uni in like three weeks which is excellent and then I've got like four months off so actually I'm very excited that the year has like gone really quickly. Um, let me know any of your favourites in the comments section down below, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, subscribe if you want to see more of me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!